When a driver is suspected of driving while intoxicated in Austin, they may face a different process than in most other places. That's because the Austin Police Department recently launched a program that's trained some officers on how to draw blood so it can be tested for alcohol. KVU's Jessica Cha is standing by here in the studio with more details about this program. Jessica? Yes, Brian and Quita, APD is not going to be pulling you over and drawing blood from the side of the road. It'll be done at the Travis County booking facility in a room specifically for drawing blood where they've always done it. But they say the new program will save time, resources and lives. The address on your driver's license, the correct address. The Austin Police Department's Highway Enforcement Unit wears a lot of hats. We have the vehicular homicide unit. We have a highway enforcement investigations, the impaired driving investigations unit. But a new one allows them to draw blood, too. Lieutenant William White says drawing blood for DWIs has traditionally been done by EMS. We had EMS personnel that worked overtime at, at the jail, and they would assist us with when we, we had either consent or a search warrant to draw blood. They were the ones that would draw it. Austin EMS Division Chief Eric Jakubaskis says EMS helps on a volunteer basis. So we started out in the program way back in 2014 with about uh, 76 personnel at the time that were trained up. But since COVID hit and staff has dwindled, so have volunteers. Half the nights they're not there. White says if EMS isn't there to draw blood, they have to take suspects to the hospital, which could take hours. Every minute that the, per the blood is not being drawn, we're losing evidence because it's metabolizing. So APD says why not save some time and draw blood themselves? Other agencies have already been using peace officers cops to draw blood. State law says you do not have to be a phlebotomist to draw blood to determine blood alcohol content. He says a small Arlington Police Department has been doing it for years. So as long as you receive the proper training and credentialing, that person can draw blood. White says four officers already trained in DWI law and to recognize drugs went through 50 hours of training with Arlington's Police Department's medical chief and Austin's medical chief. The program launched in February. I think we had a 96% success rate of the over 50 blood draws they had done. He says it's not much different than them collecting evidence, but it saves so much more time and lives. It gets uh, the officers back out on the street. You know, it, it saves us time from uh, having to have an EMS truck come down, saves the EMS guys from having to come down. It saves hospital personnel from having to deal with it. So it's a, it's a time saver all around for everybody. Brian and Quita, APD says they have over 3,000 DWI-related arrests a year, and a third of fatal crashes are caused by impaired driving. So for now, qualified officers work Fridays to draw blood, but eventually they want to train more people to be able to do it. Live in studio, Jessica Cha, KVU News.